we go into the application preferences menu, we can set up uh, rider preferences. They're personal to each rider depending on your login. So how much do you weigh, rider? Um, how many kilos? 64. 64. Now these are used for calculating, we'll show you in a second. We've already entered the wheel size. Uh, we've entered the max heart rate, heart rate of the rider. We haven't yet got a max power because we haven't done a, a test for max power, but the heart rate is used for calculating zones. So, uh, and we're using metric system. We have a choice of metric or imperial. And under trainer, we can select the turbo trainer. And it's very easy to add new turbo trainers. You just drop a file into the uh, program directory and uh, it then displays here when you restart. So here we have a choice between uh, Elite Aaron Mag, that's a roller, not a turbo. Cyclops Jet Fluid Pro and the trainer we're using which is the Tax Blue Motion. We can set, we can either have a variable resistance or we can set a fixed resistance. So here we're going to set the resistance to 5 which is about halfway which is quite good for hilly courses. And we've also checked a box for something called Simul Speed which is something we've added since the last demonstration. Um, what that means is we we actually calculate the power of the roller's power curve and uh, we then calculate what your uh, speed would be, what your speed on the ground would be, uh, given your actual speed and the gradient. And it actually gives a fairly accurate um, riding experience for, for hilly courses. So you can, uh, even on something like the Allen, uh, the Elite Mag Roller, you can ride hilly courses on a roller that has no variable resistance. So this is the, the main screen. We're still working on the two screen principle because I think that's better to, uh, to avoid clutter. Most people have a laptop they're going to plug into a TV for courses. Here we see we have map display and we have a new panel which is training info which gives you your power, heart rate and cadence and it also lets you run training uh, plans. But what we're going to do today is just ride a course and I'll show you a little bit about that. Uh, and this is something I recorded this summer. It's a climb of the Col de Bial in the Massif Central. So I you wrote that up. the course. You can see it starts here at Chalmazal, winds up through the mountains, gets uh, up to about 8% just after Chalmazal and at the end. So uh, we're not riding yet. We can select what we want to display, power, heart rate, cadence, and uh, if we've loaded the training route, target power, target heart rate, etc. And here we see the profile Bear of the mind, this course. is running on a five-year-old netbook, so it's not uh, very powerful. And I'll just turn the fan on for my assistant, otherwise they'll cook. And uh, this is the course display. Uh, we, got, uh, we put the information on the same um, display as the video, so you can actually uh, see where you're going. Uh, how fast etc. We've got speed, kilometers an hour, distance, how fast we're pedaling, 57, the current slope, 5.3%, heart rate, power 150 watts, not bad, uh, altitude, well that's uh, virtual, and the resistance that we selected earlier, which is 5, which is what we've set on the, on the tax roller so that we have accurate power measurements. We can see where we are currently on the course. We can see the map of where we are, which we can zoom in, I'll do that. So you'll see that uh, we're currently just going around this corner here and coming into the village. Here, red is power, green is heart rate. So power at 150 watts, heart rate uh, 120, and uh, blue is cadence. So that's all of your tele telemetry information. So uh, as you see, we're just coming to the village, and if we go up onto the main screen, you'll see the video is synced up with the speed of the rider. If the rider speeds up, the video will speed up, coming past the church. And the gradient's actually dropped as well, so we're speeding up naturally. We're putting out, uh, it's good, 200 watts. We'll do that all the way to the summit and we'll be fit. But you'll see, if, we, if you keep doing the same speed, we're coming up to the castle in Chalmazal now. And after this, the gradient starts getting steeper. And you'll see that our speed, unless we put out more power, will start to drop, that's signal speed. So realistically, um, simulates the slope. We're now up to 5.8% and we're down to 12 kilometers an hour. 
So, uh, and that's at 170 watts. We're now on a 7% slope, it's getting steeper and steeper, and our speed's dropping just as it would in real life. So if you want to get up there a bit, if you want to get up there before lunchtime, you'll have to put a bit of an effort in.